My name is Vladislav. I am an engineer of VTM Group. Today I will present you a balancing machine model DBST-20. This machine is designed for low-speed balancing of car and truck turbocharger cartridges. We will now look at the specifics of working on this machine. So, the machine is switched on by the main side switch, here on the side. After that we press the power button of the computer, the monitor starts up. Once the computer is switched on, we go straight into the program menu. Below the monitor we have two pressure gauges. One of them is responsible for the air pressure, the other for the oil pressure in the turbo. Between them is a thermoregulator, which is used to set the temperature of the oil to which it will be heated and maintained. At the bottom there are a series of buttons. The leftmost one is the air start. The next from it is air stop. Next is oil start, oil stop, and the thermostat switch. Below this group of buttons is the oil pressure regulator. To the left of it is the air pressure regulator. In the work cabinet, we have a backlight installed. There is also a turbocharger cartridge installed here. It is placed in such a way that the oil supply is from the top. A universal adapter that comes with the machine is used. Clamps are used to hold the exhaust heat shield. Also, the machine is equipped with a speed sensor. A contrasting mark will need to be placed on the turbocharger rotor. Also in the machine this one is equipped with two nozzle apparatuses to accelerate the turbocharger rotor. Also included is a snail for accelerating large cartridges. The photo sensor is set between 5 and 50 millimeters to the contrast mark. There should only be one tag on either blade. The nozzles are set at minimum air pressure. This is so that the maximum speed is achieved at a certain angle of attack. Here there is a window at the bottom of the vibration table. It is also duplicated on the opposite side. In this window, we can see whether the turbocharger is draining oil or not. After the computer turned on, we entered the balancing mode. But we will first need to calibrate the machine for this turbocharger cartridge. To do this, we go into the mode and select the calculation item. Here we put two microns. This is the balancing tolerance of any turbocharger. Next, in these boxes, we set the radius of the rotor correction. In the next box, we put the distance from the center of mass to the correction plane. Any two numbers that are the same. In the bottom line, we put the mass of the rotor a turbocharger is anything that will spin. And we put it here. Press the calculate button and get the balancing tolerance for each plane. Click accept. In the next menu we see the balancing tolerance for each of the planes, recommended test masses, and the weight that is available. Enter the mass of the weight we have in stock. Press accept, and we go to the three run menu. Next, we turn on the oil pressure. We make sure that the oil is drained. Close the lid, press the air start button and select the desired first run. We set the speed in the range of 5 to 6,000 revolutions. We wait for the stop button to light up and become active. After that we look at the stability of the display of angles and values. Record the measurement results and stop the rotor rotation. 
Next, open the lid, select start with the load on the first plane. Opposite our contrast mark, which is duplicated on this side, we place our test mass. Next, we close the lid. We press the air start button. If necessary, we adjust the speed. When the speed is stable, we wait for the stop to become active stop. After activation, we look at the stability of the display of angles and values. Everything is stable. Press stop measurement and stop air. Next, open the enclosure and move our test mass from the first plane to the second. Again in front of the mark. Select run with the test mass on the second plane. Press air start. Observe the rotation speed. Adjust if necessary. The results are stable. The stop is active. Record the measurement results and stop the rotor rotation. Next, we remove our testing mass and press the result button. Next, save the setting under any name, in any cell number. If necessary, you can resave to an existing one. Enter the name of the rotor. It will be further displayed in the balancing report. Press save and go to the balancing mode where we see that on the left side the tolerance of 44 mg is actually an imbalance of 11 mg. On the right side, the unbalanced value is 42 mg. The balancing tolerance is 50 mg. That is, in this case, the rotor is balanced. But we could create an unbalance on any of the planes and see how it reacts to that. So I'm going to put this unbalance at any angle. On the second plane, pressing air start. Now the measurement has started. Watching the speed stability. Waiting for the stop button to become active. Once it is active, watch for stability in the angle display. Everything is stable, and we press the stop button in this case. The measurement results are saved. Our unbalance is 209 milligrams at angle 104. So this is where I have to take them off in this case. Now, I've set the angle to 104 degrees. And my unbalance is at the top. Once the rotor balancing is complete, we press the report button. Create. Enter the name of the person who did it. Choose. One run as the initial run. The next run as the final run. We press the create button. A report is generated. Where the name of the rotor, the speed at which the balancing took place, correction radius, balancing tolerance, initial and final unbalance. Next, you can either save or print this report. Now installed is a universal acceleration adapter with a large turbine wheel. It is connected as follows. One tube plugs into the top socket, the opposite tube plugs into the bottom socket. If the turbine has a reverse rotation, these tubes are reversed. So this one goes into the lower socket. And the far tube goes into the top socket. This tooling is designed for 
Mass production, when the turbines are large of the same type of size, it is more convenient to work with it. You don't have to adjust the nozzle for a new turbine every time, you push in, you push out. This tooling has an outreach adjustment, and there is also a height adjustment. Accessories included with the machine that allows you to fit 95% of the turbos on the machine. On the right side is the oil supply and drain jig. The oil is fed through this fitting. It's drained through this rubber ring through this hole. Similarly, the oil is fed in through this fitting. It's drained through this ring here. And the same way it's fed through the fitting here, through the rubber ring, drained through the big hole. The next group of equipment is the equipment for draining the oil. So this is where the turbo will be on top, sealing with a rubber ring, the oil will go through, through the hole down to the drain. So all that sort of thing. And the last group is to feed the oil. It's going to come with a sealing washer that's going to become threaded here. On this side we have rubber o-rings, so that the oil doesn't leak out. Also knurling so that it's easy to tighten the nuts. There is also a coupling nut to connect the machine to the pneumatic system and two rings to press the halves of the cartridge together. Checking the turbine for oil leaks is done as follows. The oil pressure is connected, set to maximum. Then the air supply is switched on and the rotation speed of the cartridge is selected in the range of two to three thousand revolutions. The turbine is placed in this position for up to five minutes. After that, the air supply is stopped and the operator looks, if there is oil leakage here, then the turbocharger will leak in the vehicle. If there is no oil leakage, the turbocharger is in good working order. Connection of the machine to the electrical power system is 220 volts, 50 hertz, with a standard euro plug. Connection to the pneumatic system of the machine is made using the coupling nut supplied with the machine. Requirements to the pneumatic system. So air pressure should be from 8 to 10 atmospheres, the air should be clean, without impurities of oil, water, chips, that is in front of the machine should be a filter dryer, the transmission capacity of which is not less than 3 quarters of an inch. The machine requires connection to an air line, the air pressure being from 8 to 9 atmospheres, and the cross section of the inlet pipe not less than an inch. There is also an oil station in the machine, which will need to be filled with oil when you receive the machine, check the oil level periodically, change it once a year, and change the filter.